Hi guys and welcome to another amazing episode of The Banker with Sophia. So in this episode today, we're going to be doing things a little bit different, right? We're going to be introducing, saying things about me so that you feel more connected and more resonated with the host, right? So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You don't want to be seeing this beauty on your screen telling you about how she wants to become the first ever Iron Chef ever, right? So I want to, you know, go into details about things about me so that you feel more connected, more reson- you can resonate more with me as a, um, a host whenever you see me on your screen and why you should subscribe and hit that like button. So let's go into it proper. Right, um, so um, like I said, we're gonna be talking about five things about me. Um, just random things that I had to like pick up and I sort of like had to write it down because there are a lot of things about me but I think these five are probably the most basic things that and the things that are really dear to me that I would want to share with my viewers so that you know me better so the first thing for me is that I love family like I'm a big family girl like family is everything to me they are my world they are my life they are like pretty much why I exist right they're like my confidant like I can talk to my family members about everything and anything no matter how crazy and how nasty it is like I really have an amazing bond with my family right most especially my sisters right um like my age mates like we have really amazing connection they're like my everything hey shout out to Oma and Amy and Ruth I love you guys but anyways, so let's go into that. I'm from a very big family. I'm from a very, I'm from a very big family. I'm from a family of sixteen. One mom, one dad. Um, my dad is my hero. My mom is like the Amazon woman of the world. Like that woman is so strong, and I love her to death. And family is just everything for me. Like growing up, like we used to have like this competition whereby um, we had like a singing competition some people were like the judges some people were like the participants and at the end of the day we're being judged there's like a prize it just helps everybody um, explore their talent like talking was something that you had to do in my house like there was no room for you to be slow or for you to um be carry last because everybody has sharp mouth everybody talks back like it was a really amazing childhood when i think about it so Family to me is everything and everything that I hold really dear to my heart, right? And that's something that I'm going to instill in my children so that they hold their family, our family, really close to their heart because I do that. Um, so another thing about the host um, is that I love movies. Like, I'm a movie person. I'm a movie maniac at this point. I'm not just your regular, I watch movie just when I feel like it. Like... I sleep to movie I wake up to movie like it's something that relaxes me when I'm up in the morning the first thing after I pray sometimes I don't even pray right I want to continue like an episode that I was watching yesterday or something that I did not finish right or something that I've been eyeing and I actually slept off right and I go to bed watching movies because of the sound of you know the movies the actors is really relaxing like I like different kind of movies I like um, drama I like comedy I don't really like sitcom right because yeah so I like comedy I like drama I like um, science fiction kind of movies crime detective kind of movies where you know I'm thinking what's gonna happen who mothered this I have a very weird fetish about watching um, mothers um, I also really love documentaries, right? Documentaries about food, about people, about mother cases. It just makes me think about how people think and how scary people really are to, you know. It just really exposes how people really think and you should actually really be really, really afraid of human beings at the end of the day. So, aside from movies, right, um, I love cleaning, right? I do not have OCD right but i like to keep my environment very tidy you know i do not meet pick people around me because i tend to find that it can be really annoying when you know you're not that kind of a person right so 
I try to do my best. But one thing I do not like at all is that when I'm cleaning, do not try and be overly friendly with me if you're not helping me. If you're not helping me wash dishes or you're not helping me mop or do something, please stay in your lane. Do not try and be overly friendly with me because I will just really get angry. Like, I can't just flip a switch whenever I'm cleaning. Like, and that's something that my partner does and it annoys me to my bone. Like, every time he'll be like, Madame, why are you like this? Why can't like, I'm cleaning, you're not helping out, and then you're trying to be all lovey dovey with me. No, bro, ain't gonna happen today. Like, move. And it's not as if I, most of the times, I want you to clean with me. Like, I'm fine cleaning on my own because half, most of the times, it's like, you're not even cleaning to my satisfaction, right? My sister will be complaining that, oh, and that she doesn't clean enough. Like, most times, she doesn't even want to try, but you don't clean well enough. Like, it's pretty basic dust right clean mop those are the basic things that you need to do right so i don't really need you to clean like when i'm cleaning just disappear the best time for me to clean is when nobody's around like i'm cleaning i can clean and every other thing right it sort of puts me like in a more mental space because i would say that i have not been diagnosed right but I think that I have HDD, right? Where I'm not able to concentrate and do one particular thing. When I'm cleaning, when I'm doing something else, right? So it's hard for me to be cleaning. Sometimes I might be in the sitting room, I'm doing something, I'll move to the room, I will continue. So imagine when somebody's there, right? It will just make the whole thing really, really, really annoying. Like sometimes I'm cleaning and I'm screaming like, no, like I'm forcing myself to finish what I'm doing right and i love cleaning so it helps me put um a whole lot of things in like my day and how i want to do things in perspective when i have like a clean environment everywhere it's clean everywhere it's smelling fresh right so that's that um we've talked about family movie cleaning music and yes i do not like music so please don't come for me. I know that there are a lot of mu- uh, music lovers. They love music and every other thing. I do not hate music, right? But I'm not a big lover of music. Like, I can vibe to music, this, that, and every other thing. But when I'm in the club, when I'm out, when my partner is playing music, like, I, I know a lot of music. Funny enough, for somebody that does not really dig music that much. But it's not something that I would want to listen to, right? In my... um um my youtube my spotify i do not even necessarily listen to secular music it's not as if i don't like secular music again i am not holier than thou right i'm a christian i love god right and i love listening to christian music right when i'm relaxing when i want to get things done those are the kind of music that i like to listen but when i'm out and i do not really have a choice like i can listen to a better music that everybody's listening to right so I'm not really a big lover of music, right? And the last thing about me is that if you do not know, right, I want to become the first Iron Chef in Nigeria. You know, when I think about when I'm old, like when I get old, what are the things that I want to do? What are the things that I, you know, um, when I close my eyes, what do I see when I'm in my 50s and my 60s, right? When I close my eyes, I see myself in a very big kitchen, trying out new recipes, um, just being happy, giving people food and feeling very good about it. Like there's this feeling when you cook something that is really amazing and then you see the smile on people's face, then going over and over and over again and eating that food. Like it's just amazing. Like to me, there's really nothing compared to, to that. So my goal is to become like the first ever Iron Chef in Nigeria, right? That's something that i want to do i do not know how i'm going to get there eventually but i know the things that i need to do right now to help me get there and i know that you and i can make this my dream a reality me putting in the work right to become an onion chef right you have to um have like a restaurant have like three michelin um michelin stars you um have to be you have to have like win like a series of cooking competitions 
right you have to be really really well known in the cooking industry right and i know it's not going to be e easy right to sort of like break that barrier to become like the first ever iron chef in nigeria from nigeria right you have to be like well traveled because you have to travel to see other other people's cuisine experiences cooking is not just about um you know what you eat and they're about like it's like a way of life it tells you more about people the place and everything like it inspires you to think and to create like different recipes you have to have like your signature recipe so that's something that i also want to do if you have not subscribed at this point like why why please subscribe and hit that notification button so that you get to know more amazing things about the host called Sophia the first so um thank you for tuning in and like i said i was talking about five things about me one thing the first thing i talked about was the fact that i like um family i'm very big on family i'm from very big family the next thing is that i love movies like i'm a movie maniac i can listen to i can watch movie every day 365 days in a year and don't get tired I do not really like music right like I'm not a big fan of music but I can vibe to music and I know a lot of music right I like cleaning but do not even try to stress me when I'm cleaning and then the fifth is that my goal and my purpose I've made is my purpose and my vision right it's to become the first ever iron chef from Nigeria so um thank you very much if you're um, my name is Sophia Okolo Sophia the first for um, at this show and next time let's keep stirring conversations and serving moments of banter with Sophia thank you for tuning in and enjoying everything about me bye